Before you connect your soundbar, check the available connections on the TV. Different model TVs may have different options for connecting your Vizio soundbar. And different model Vizio soundbars may have different options for connecting to the TV. We're using Vizio soundbar model S4251W for this video. Also, you may have a slightly different remote. This model's remote has an LED screen. Some soundbar remotes may not. The first option you may have is a SPDIF cable, also called TOSLINK or fiber optic cable. This option allows for surround sound to be passed to the soundbar if you have a 5.1 surround model. This cable can be fairly fragile as it's made of a thin piece of glass instead of copper wire. The signal is sent through this cable using light pulses. Sometimes these cables will have protective plastic covers on each end of the cable. If so, please remove them before attempting to plug this cable into the TV or soundbar. When plugging this cable in, make sure the cable is seated properly. There are usually doors covering the fiber optic port. Those are to keep dust out. The connector is keyed so it will only enter one way. The cable will snap in firmly once connected. Connect one end to the TV. Connect the other end to your soundbar and make sure your soundbar is plugged in, powered on, and also on the correct input labeled optical, toslink, or SPDIF. Another type of connection is an analog connection. It features RCA ports. This is indicated by a red and white connector labeled audio out on your TV. There are a bunch of different ports on the back of the TV. Please make sure you're using the red and white audio out ports. If the TV is in a position that's difficult to see, you can locate a picture of the connections in your user manual or quick start guide. Connect the white and red cables to the respective ports. Make sure the jacks are firmly seated. They should be fairly tight and not slide off easily. Connect the other end to the white and red audio in connection on the soundbar. Power on the soundbar and select the correct input. Now back to setup. There might be a few settings you'll want to adjust on the TV. First, you may want to turn the internal speakers of the TV off. Leaving them on may cause an echo effect that can be distracting. You turn the speakers off through the audio menu. Access the audio menu by pressing the menu key and choosing audio. Toggle to the internal speakers option. If you're using analog cables, you may need to adjust the audio out. Access this setting through the audio menu. Two options are available in this setting, fixed and variable. In most cases, the fixed option is the best solution as your soundbar volume will be controlled by the soundbar itself. If you choose the variable option and you adjust the TV volume, the volume on the soundbar will go up and down slightly. This feature is only available when using the analog cables. Some of the newer model Vizio soundbars are Bluetooth enabled. Bluetooth provides wireless connectivity to devices like your smartphone, tablet, or other Bluetooth enabled devices. On these soundbars, you can stream music from your device to your soundbar without turning on the TV. To pair your device with the soundbar, either press and hold the Bluetooth button on the side of the soundbar or use the Bluetooth pairing option on the soundbar remote. The Bluetooth button looks like this on some remotes. On the remote with the LED screen, you need to go into Settings and select BT Pairing. When this model is in Bluetooth pairing mode, you'll see LED lights flashing back and forth on the front of the soundbar. Now, go to your device. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on and your device is discoverable. Check the Quick Start Guide for your model for more details. If your Vizio soundbar has a wireless subwoofer and it's not working, there are a couple of troubleshooting steps you can do. Check your settings to make sure you have the sub volume turned up. Move the subwoofer closer to the soundbar. It should have a clear line of sight to the soundbar. Make sure the subwoofer is plugged in and powered on. If the light on the subwoofer is blinking in a slow pattern, you'll need to pair the subwoofer with the soundbar. Pairing means to wirelessly connect the subwoofer to the soundbar. First, confirm there's power to the subwoofer and that the power switch is in the on position. Now, locate the pairing button on the back of the subwoofer. Here's what this one looks like. Yours may look like this. Press and hold the pairing button on the back of the subwoofer for five seconds. The LED on the back of the subwoofer will begin to blink. 
press and hold the power button on the soundbar for five seconds. Your model may have a pairing button on the soundbar itself, like this. If so, hold that for five seconds. The LED indicators on the front will flash three times. Again, this process may vary between different soundbar models. Check your quick start guide for details. The subwoofer is now linked with the soundbar. If you have a Vizio soundbar with satellite speakers and they're not producing sound, try these troubleshooting tips. Ensure the satellite speaker wires are securely connected. These wires might have loosened during setup. Try turning on the SURND surround function using the remote control. Turn up the surround level by using the remote. If none of those steps work, select the SURND option on the remote and turn surround off. Look at the 12 LED lights on the front of the soundbar. Lights 1 through 4 and 9 through 12 should be dim, with the center four lights being dark. Turn surround on and verify that the center four LEDs are now bright. Verify that sound is coming from the satellites. And since the satellite speakers are hardwired to the subwoofer, make sure the subwoofer is properly linked to the soundbar. If the subwoofer is not paired or powered on, the satellite speakers will not work. Again, if the light on the subwoofer is blinking in a slow pattern, you'll need to pair the subwoofer with the soundbar. Refer to your soundbar quick start guide for more information. Now it's time to enjoy your Vizio Home Theater soundbar.